Alright, so we're gonna catch a moon calf now. I already got one, but uh Let me listen. Choppy. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Oh boy, I didn't mean to do this, but sure. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. The vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. 
Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. All right, that's cool. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Of course, he's not ready. I just the pulse out him. So I only have so active boost three twelve. Oh okay. I can just add the bomb. looking at me for something.
so you can see that they're they've all been pet they've all been fed it's cool so you can only have 12 active at a time or four different species that's interesting then the vivarium can hold noises when he's sleeping. Kitties. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Oh, that's Why don't so you cool. try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment too. with the loom now. Do we have to go back inside? Yeah, okay.
Oh, so once you discover traits, do you just have them? I was worried about this because I started selling clothing items that came with traits and I didn't want to get rid of them. discovered any tier 2 traits, that's wild. Oh, measle fur, okay. So you have to... Oh, I, I see. I see. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Meet me near the ruins of Falbatten Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. It's daytime in here, that's cool. Oh, there is a flu powder thing inside the room.
just vaulted out of nowhere. Alright, cool. So, all of the um, room of requirement stuff is done. So, we can meet Natty after dark, attend astronomy class. Those are the next two main parts of the quest. See an argument in the Great Hall. I find out what this was about. Who you know. I was worried, Transfiguration. All these new games bring my PC to its knees. It's so crazy to me. Incendio! Incendio! Oh, there's a symbol in front of them. That's cool. I'm so distracted right now. This is two. That's four. So we got um, triangle with the, the elder wand looking thing, Deathly Hallows. It's three. Then, uh, sweet. Stuff. Oh, an unidentified item. Nice. To be honest, I don't even think it's my graphics card that's, that's that's holding this game back. I think it's my CPU. You can see that the frame times. What is that guy doing? He's walking on the wall. Hey, buddy. 
Oh, the girls just on the clapping over the watch and walk on the wall. This is like the uh, college equivalent to a dude sitting in the stairwell playing the guitar. Yeah, right. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. What's over here? I can unlock. Hello, Hamoras. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Yeah, not right now. Brand new game. Just beware the open flame. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Omina speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this, better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Um, I am, but I don't think my character is. What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. Wow, I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Wow. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. All right. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. You can't imagine how inconvenient... I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before you, you invented flu powder. Holy shit. I wish you could, like, go into the room of requirement and just store gear. And not have to keep everything on you. Oh, that's cool. I like that.
next one's gonna be astronomy class.